So I finally tried out the built-in lighting effects that they have on the Hero 11. And honestly, I was blown away. I was actually not expecting this at all. So let me show you why. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. Also, I like to do cool GoPro videos every week. So if you like that kind of stuff and you're new here, don't be a stranger. Click that button right there. I'll put links to everything, including some cool accessories for the GoPro down in the description, plus a surprise link. All right, so if you didn't know, the Hero 11 has three really cool light effects. And you can find them when you go into time-lapse mode and you go into the different presets here at the bottom. So you have star trails, light painting, and vehicle lights. So I set out to just try them all out. And yeah, funny thing is, I was not expecting it to be what it was. And maybe because I was thinking it was gonna be more of a picture and you know, you gotta take the slow shutter and do all that stuff. But no, it's like 4K video with just some really cool effects. So let's start with the light painting. And so this is where you just set your camera down and you have a light and you can kind of just paint around. At first I set a timer for 10 seconds, but then once I kind of realized what was going on, you know, three seconds or no timer is really needed because it's a video. It's not like you have to get everything in and then it's a picture. So as you can see, it just looks really cool visually. You have your lights going around and you can set the trails on here. So you can have short trails, long trails, or maximum trails, which right here is what maximum looks like. If you want a subject in it while there is light painting, I suggest getting some kind of off-camera key light on that subject. Otherwise, it looks like this with a shadow figure. So yeah, you just set it up. You press the record button and you just paint and paint and paint. And then you look back on it and you can adjust it however you want. Different settings you can change the ISO and all that stuff but the auto settings it's just very fun as soon as I was playing it back I was just blown away I was like this is so cool I was not expecting that so let's go on to vehicle lights so this is really cool too you can put your camera down by any street and you get the cars just flying by and it's a really cool way to get a good time lapse and again you can adjust the different trails if you want long trails short trails or maximum trails but in this case it was also fun because i had this mirth scooter with some really cool lights and it was kind of fun just to keep going back and forth with it and it looks really cool and at first again i was kind of expecting more of a picture and then as soon as i played it back i was like oh wow okay so you just let it go and you just go for a, you know, two minutes and you just get a really short clip. But that's such a cool result and just a really amazing way to get more creative when you're making videos, if you're doing vlogs, if you're trying to tell a story about where you are, set this camera down and you get that shot. It looks so good. All right, now let's talk about star trails. Now on this channel, I've taught you all about the settings and stuff like that to just be able to capture video of these stars and how you can make it look really good. And we've had challenges and these are some of the results to that challenge. But this adds another element to it where you can have the trails of the stars, which looks really cool. So you put your camera out at night, you just set it up at the sky, hopefully it's clear. I've tried this a couple of times and you just get the clouds that pop over. And this is what it looks like with like a short trail. And this is what it would look like with a long trail or maximum trail. But this was so much more fun to play with than I was anticipating. I don't know why I never got into it earlier. It just blew me away that it was like 4K video and you can really get creative with it. It's just another layer and another reason why the 11 is such a good upgrade. So if you have an 11, play around with it. You'll enjoy it too. You'll see how much fun it is and you'll be happy that you did. And also on this channel, we do some cool challenges. Right now we have the vlogging in public challenge where you can actually win a Hero 11. So you can click that button up there if you want to learn more about that. Or you can also join the mailing list, which I'll put the link to in the pinned comment. And that way I can keep you updated on all the challenges and giveaways that we have on this channel. So check that out. Other than that, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more cool stuff coming up and I'll see you next time. Mr. Black.